within the tower. Thank <laughs> you. 
What happened to the witch, I wonder? A secret lost to the snows. Stretch your wings, Sunan. To my eyes, stranger. Small in stature, but great in deed. I am the one they call Javi, the High One of Asgard. And I come bearing a great gift. Your name is known to me, but what could mighty Sutunger want that a little thing like you could provide? Your great cauldron, stolen by Hemia's sons. Let this offering be a beginning to the end of our hostilities. Such a small thing, yet so much deeper than it seems. Appearances can be deceiving, can they not? <laughs> well spoken, Harvey. Our people may be enemies, but you have earned your welcome here. Thralls, an honored guest has come. Prepare a feast! I hope also to meet your daughter, Gunluda. I have heard much of her skill in the mystical arts. She will be toiling at her work, as ever. But be forewarned, she shuns the company of others. I could summon her to the feast, if you like. We might discuss matters of alchemy on the way. That would please me. You will find her in her grotto, up the path, within the circle of stones. Have a care, though. You are safe in my presence. But you wander Utgard at your peril. I will be discreet. And Harvey, be kind. Gunnlother is different from you and I.
My father was a thrall, as is my wife, as will our children be. The Asir may have beaten us back at Asgard, but our time is coming. What counts is how you face it. Drudgery is our lot. Aid me. Be my eyes. to bring Gunnlother to the feast. I should not keep Sutanker waiting.
Luna, what is this place? Some time ago, we made powerful magic here. We sought to see all futures. But every road led to Ragnarok. Father does not visit here anymore. He sees no profit in it. But I am not yet ready to give up. You are Esir. I am. I have seen images of the future. Heard the voices of those who will come after us. Voices from... in there? Yes. I leave them words. Little packets of possibility, waiting for unknown ears, many ages hence. What do these future voices say? They seek the wisdom of the past. They speak of things to come. But even they cannot turn the tide of Ragnarok. There is to be a feast in my honor. Your father sent me to fetch you. No, not yet. Listen. I want you to hear the voices. Are you there, Prophet? Can you hear me? Perhaps another day. Another thread. Come. We must not keep father waiting. Who are you? Winter's knife cuts deep, and sky pearls fall thick in this land. It... it is cold out here. How can that surprise you? I haven't been outside in... Uh, I don't know how long. You are devoted to your work. Not my work, my responsibility. My people ignore the disaster bearing down on them. Someone must do something. We have long searched for a solution, until the burden of it has bent my mind. I do not think as clearly as I once did. I've heard there's one method still untested. There is, but to activate it would mean defiling our well of knowledge, from which all of Midgard drinks. There is no telling the change it would wreak on humankind. It would bring chaos at the least, and I do not wish to hurt them. Even if it means the death of all Yotna? We will find another way. We must. This land is quite beautiful. I had all but forgotten. Greatest discoveries are kept. Such things would do great harm in the hands of evil people. Be my eyes, Zunin. Wherein our greatest discoveries are kept. Such things would do great harm in the hands of evil people. No stone walls will defend us when Ragnarok comes. All we have built here will be swept away. snow have gnawed that tower to the bone. Soon we will knock it down.
sin einni. Má vera tröllu í grend sem gera þú mér. Generous and hospitable indeed, great Sutungur. None can say otherwise. And see, your gift stands in pride of place, brimming with freshly fermented mead. Enough for a hundred Yotnar and more. This is an unexpected honor. You have filled it already with mead from your vault, then? No need. It has filled itself. Such is the magic of the cauldron. Impressive. But what if it should run out of meat? Do you hear this? <laughs> Harvey fears he will drink us dry. <laughs> my cauldron is deep, but my vault is deeper. Do not worry about my stores of mead. I have plenty to go around. Father, you know revelry does not suit me. Must I attend this feast? I have work to do. Your work can wait, my daughter. Take a moment. Enjoy yourself. Father, we have very little time. Enjoy yourself. I insist. Harvey, the guests are uneasy. They see an Aesir, but they do not know you. Will you address them? I'm ready. Now, we will hear from our honored guest. The Lord of the Aesir has come in peace and brought us a mighty gift. Attend. Harvey, I'm called, whose axe is never slaked. The blood of my enemies is my meat, their skulls my pillow. You brag well. They were ever pleased by violence. Though our people are enemies, I come here to do you honor, for I know that none feast nor fight like Yotna. <laughs> Your words are well chosen. I could go on, but who wants to hear words when there's meat and meat to be had? You know your audience well, it seems. Now we will drink deep and eat heartily. Let the feast begin! I need to empty that cauldron. Then Tutankar will open his vault. You can measure a warrior by the knots he's on his face. You're not drinking, Gunlother. I do not care for it. Drink is the heron that steals away one's memory. Some would say it frees the spirit of worry. We call those people drunks. <laughs> I see your wit is as sharp as your intelligence. Wit? 
I was simply stating a truth. Let us play a game. Ask me some riddles. I will see if I can guess them. I enjoy a good riddle. How did you know? All great minds enjoy riddles. You fashion order from disorder, sense from nonsense. You have me at that. Very well, I will play. Give me an easy one to begin. Would that I had now what I had yesterday. Find out what that was. Mankind it mars, speech it hinders, yet speech it will inspire. Could you give it to me again? Would that I had now what I had yesterday. Find out what that was. Mankind it mars, speech it hinders, yet speech it will inspire. It is ale, of course. A child could have solved that one. Would you like another? All right, I'm ready. Who is that shrill one who rides a hard road and has fared that way before? He kisses hard who has two mouths and goes only on gold. It is a hammer. Well done. I hope that wasn't just a guess. One more. I feel good about this one. Be prepared. This is the hardest yet. White-haired women, servants too, bore ale tub to the larder. No hand turned it, nor hammer beat it. But there, outside the islands, the upright one who made it. It can only be swans and eggs. Very clever, Javi. Yes. Well, now the game is over. Have I raised your spirits at all? I feel better. Much, much better. I might even go and have a drink. Harvey, will you test your arm at archery? You must hit three targets in a handful of heartbeats. I can shoot the wings off a wasp. Ah, but can you do it while mead adult? Before each attempt, you must take a drink. I'll take your challenge on one condition. For every drink I take, you take two. Ha! <laughs> That's a condition I'll gladly accept. Are you ready? Show me those targets. Then take a drink, and let fly! Close your eyes, your luck will improve! Fine shot! Now, have a drink and try another. You look a bit wobbly there! Careful! Steady eye now. The last one is the hardest. Let us hope you hold your beer better than you hold a bow. You are a keen shot, Harvey. Your hand grows steadier with drink where others lose their eye. Another round? Not for me. My belly royals like a knot of eels. And I see three of you. I think I should walk this off. The mead is half gone. An egg ears cauldron can't be drained. Agir, mighty friend to the Asiad. Are you not sorry to lose your cauldron? It was never mine by right. 
Thor won it from Hymir so he might feast in my hall. I only kept it on his behalf. And after that bloody business with Hymir's sons, well, I'd as soon be rid of it. I'll have no strife beneath my roof. The end of strife. I'll drink to that. And I'll drink to anything. Not me, friend. My name is Thok. Uh, forgive me. I, I thought you were someone else. Too much drink in too little time. The cure for that is sleep. Somber souls will only sip at their drinking horns. Conjure us a tune to raise their spirits. We are keen, but my harp has been stolen. We cannot play without it. Who would steal a songbringer's instrument? There was a group of children playing round us earlier, with mischief in their eyes. I will get your harp back, and then you will play. No guests in the kitchen! Out! The guests are not drinking fast enough. Perhaps I can speed things along. They are calling for challengers to face their champion. The fight would help them drain their gaps. Give it to me! I want to go! Get your grubby paws off my heart! My turn! My turn! Not you too! You break the strings with your sausage fingers! That harp does not belong to you, little thief. You should give it back. What are you gonna do? Fight me for it? Why don't you give me a real challenge? All right. You want this harp? Go dive from that me. Climb as high as you can, though. I want a big splash. Watch and learn. <laughs> but they won't do it. How many broken bones, you think? Fifty at least. Maybe a hundred. Now give back the harp, so the musicians may play. Umias, hairy balls! That was amazing! You must be half-raven! Who taught you such language? Mother? Why? 